Hey guys, today is Sunday, October 22nd, 2017. Time for Bipolar Opposites. My name is Timothy Andrew Antonio Cubbins. And I guess I'll be talking to you for a few minutes about the topic ones you came up with, my viewing audience. Now, for those who don't know what Bipolar Opposites is, let me explain to you. It is my bipolar perspective, yes, I'm bipolar, and I talk about topics, you know, back and forth, so opposites. So I thought, polar opposites, why not? Bipolar opposites. What's up, Gumi? Anyway, when I first created it, it was supposed to be, you know, little snippets. Not topics over here and there. So, I like charities, I did certain things, like, but the first season just completely disjointed and I hated it. Fast forward a little bit to when I was in college, and I thought, you know what? This is my English degree. I want an English degree. I minor in journalism. So, I never thought that I'd get to do very much, but to answer my journalism degree part, I decided, you know what? Let's make by Polar Opposites a news show. Now, three seasons like that, and it absolutely sucked after one, because it bombed. It was not what I wanted it to be. So I decided, you know what? Throw everything away and start something new. Because my previous seasons have always been scripted. Well, now, I talk at the top of my head, so I might read redundancies, but still I'm trying. Anyway, as for my journalism career part, this is the index. Kittens, I know. Barfably cute. Anyway, what the index is, is for this season, I ask people questions. I interviewed people, and I wrote down the responses in the index. So, all of my interviews are in here. So, when I do every episode, pretty much, I just go and look in the index and pick the topic that you guys picked out for me. So, by the way, if you want to have your questions on my show, send an email to bipolaropposites119 at yahoo.com. Okay? I'll accept any, any topic except for politics. I'm not going to talk about Trump. I absolutely refuse to do that. Either way, I'm not going to talk about him. This is a show, it's a vlog, that should not involve politics. I'm not a political journalist, it's just not my passion. I just want to, you know, just have fun, interview with some, maybe colonists, I don't know. But like I said, I did the interviews. So, for today, our topic for today is going to be healing powers. Okay, for those of you who don't know, I had a friend who wanted superpowers. I asked him, what three superpowers he would want most. So, the first one I got from him is healing powers. Ironically, Wolverine. That was not intended, actually. That was totally not intended. But Wolverine, you need to healing powers. Now, who wouldn't want healing powers? You had cut shaving. No beard left. No mark. Amazing. I mean, I always cut myself shaving, which is why I hardly ever shave. Also, they, like this part right here, get three scars on my forehead in a matter of two, few, well, two of them in a few weeks. And the one I've had forever, but still. Anyway, so, why well, wouldn't give to go and have these scars heal up so it doesn't bother my pretty face? I mean, if you were shot and got a bullet through you, I don't know, maybe some of you wouldn't want to get laid, some of you would, but your bullet wound would heal up. That would be Awesome! You can't be killed! Well, you can if your heart's cut out or whatever, it's certain organ. Uh, I have stipulations here and I really do not know them, but let's face it. The yeah, healing factor. Does it matter? I mean, if you watch the first X Men movie, when Rogue has Wolverine, if it hurts when the claws come out, he goes every time. Now, some of you say, you know what? I don't want to hurt. I mean, let's face it. The yeah, healing powers? Probably feel like stitches coming in. Probably gonna hurt a little bit. I don't know. Okay, so you got healing powers, but it hurts when you get your wounds. And it heals up, and it hurts while you heal up. What's the point there? Plus, you know, do you really want to outlive everyone you know because you got a healing power and don't age? I mean, that would just be awful. I wouldn't want to go on like that. I really wouldn't. So, yes, there's pluses for healing powers and negative healing powers. Me? Became my choice? I would not want healing powers. 
And this may seem odd because, as you all know, I'm a huge Marvel Comics fan. And I love Wolverine, but my Wolverine's powers? No. Here's why. Like I said, I would not want to outlive everyone I know and love. That would just be horrible. Plus, if I wanted to kill myself, I couldn't. Unless I cut my own heart and squished or something, I don't know that. I, I, I honestly don't know the situations, but really, I would not want to go on if everyone and everything I love just went away. Wolverine even around since the 1800s, according to the early comics. Well, the early comics, but the origin series, so... I don't know, I really don't know. But, hey, that's up to you if you want healing powers or not. In fact, you want healing powers? You don't want healing powers? You're free to email me. I don't mind. I might even bring this up again. You decide. Well, I guess all I have to say is Tim Coven, out.